Hello, my lovely people. Welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video. We are still on the gist from the palace of Oni of Ife. My people, wonder shall never end. Hey, <laughs> oh Lord, Maria, she will never rest. She will never rest. Hey, anyways, from what we are hearing, they said Oni of Ife fires her over her shocking demand. We do know that they said the king have acquired a new uh, estate allegedly where he wanted the wives to move to uh, and he named that place is it orisha noble quarters for the oloris and these women have uh, insisted that they will not move someone like a uh, mariam have been making serious case out of it ever since the the king uh, told them about that because he took them on our ways they were not away from what we heard, though, allegedly, while he was acquiring and furnishing that place. And from what we heard, they said that place is well furnished. As a matter of fact, if they agreed to go there, it would be better for them. Because it will limit this, the level of uh, unhealthy competition among the wives. Yes, so. But uh, they don't want to stay away from their husband, from what we heard. But we heard that the king have told them that he is not divorcing them. Them staying there does not mean that they are not married to him again. He can be calling on them. He can go there to visit. I don't know. But all he wanted was to uh, to, to have a, a sanity in the palace and the peace. Because the bad news that is coming from these women, they said ever since that palace started, they have not experienced things like what they are experiencing right now. And this is happening because of all the women that the king gathered and put there. So, but Mariam have been making so much trouble out of it. And they said the one that peppers her much was the fact that they said, Ilefe women, they went to Akure to have a meeting with Queen Naomi as the first wife of the king instead of her. They said ever since then, she has not been herself. It has been from one bus goes to the other. And right now, she is making a huge amount of a, a demand, as in a shocking demand from the king. According to what we are hearing, they said, she have demanded that if she must leave the palace, that the king will have to divide the oil company and give her some part of it. After all, according to her, they say she was the one who initiated that idea of the family owing an oil company. Yes, so from what we heard, we do know that she is she's, she works with an oil company from what we heard. Though. And let's not also forget that they said, allegedly it was... Like the bad most who introduced her into the oil business. Yes, although she was doing well, or she is doing well. The reason I used was because recently we heard that she's not that active in her, uh, in working with the oil company again, you know. So, they said she was the one who brought out the idea to the king. And they started going for that, you know. But along the line, along the line, uh, maybe, I don't know what must have happened, but from what we heard, they said the uh, Lide was the one who pushed her out of the the business, from as in pushing her out, as in by encouraging the king to drop the file that Mariam started, that she is ready. You know that Lide is into oil again, from what we heard, that she is ready to help him acquire a different uh or you well for his son Prince Tadenikawo that he shouldn't trust Mariam. Yes so and you will not blame Lide for telling the king that he shouldn't trust Mariam because this Ojaja more that we heard that Mariam contributed with the king to build. Every minute we keep hearing that okay is my money my money my money this my money that share the money uh, share the Ojaja and give me my portion this and that but someone like a uh, Dr. Elizabeth we heard that Dr. Elizabeth have been doing great things, something that worth huge amount of money for the royal family, but you will never hear it from her, you know? So when Lydia suggested to the king that it would be better that they stop that uh, uh, with the file that he started with Mariam and start the fresh one, which will be Tade's name and Queen Naomi's name, they said the king buy, uh, buy the idea from Lydia, and before you know it, Lydia helped the king with the help of this... Uh, Dr. Elizabeth Jack Rich, only of his first adopted daughter. Yes, with the help of these three people, he was able to acquire that new one faster than the first one he was uh, uh, processing with uh, Mariam, you know. And when the when he finally got that, or you were, 
he named it uh, after Tade and uh, Queen Naomi and uh, Diola. These are the three people who owns that oil company, according to what we are hearing, you know. And we do know that among all the investments we had that the king have uh, gotten, that oil well is the most, as in, is the highest. As long as oil is, con uh, is concerned in Nigeria, it is a, b a mega business, you know. So, uh, and the Mariam did not like that idea. As a matter of fact, it, it blows her off because she, she thought at the initial stage that it was that, that one that she started with the king. So when uh, 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 the king named Quinomi the CEO, Mariam lost her coup and was fighting the king. But uh, when she found out that it wasn't that one, she was devastated and disappointed. You know, now she is insisting that if she must leave the palace like the king have insisted, that the king will have to divide the oil well and show her the part that belongs to her. After all, she was the one who brought up, uh, who started with the idea of helping the royal family acquire an oil well. That uh, only have been into real estate and other businesses, but he had never thought of uh, this uh, oil business until Mariam came into the picture. <laughs> and they say Oni did not even listen to her that she, he was like you are wasting your time by the time you are done talking you find your way out of the palace because you cannot go against my decision yes so the king have the final say whether Mariam likes it or not she will have to obey her husband what's come to what she will say that she's not marrying again yes so because from what we heard they said Oni have made it clear that is either you obey me as a husband or you'll be ready to get a divorce from me. And you do know that this one is not going to waste time. It's not going to be like that of Queen Naomi, who have been begging the king to release her. And the king is insisting, knowing fully well that Queen Naomi is very important in his life. <laughs> so right now, they said Olori Mariam have been in tears as a serious one. No, no be smarting. Anyway, guys, I want to remind you that these are all alleged information. I do not live in the palace. So mm -hmm. I am not living in the palace. I am just a blogger. And all of this information, we are getting it from different sources. They are not first-hand information, okay? Always bear that in mind. And I want to use, use this opportunity to thank you for always being part of my channel, for all your support, both the good, the bad, for all the comments. <laughs> there are some comments that if you, are, if, if you are not prepared, if you see it here, you might not come out tomorrow. But all the same, no wala. Just thank you for always being here. I really appreciate you. Please subscribe to my channel. If you're watching me from Facebook, follow this page for more. Share my video. Tell me what you think about it on the comment section. And don't forget, I still love you. Bye for now.